Hey guys, I am on some kind of an obsession with making paper beads right now. I cannot stop. So I thought I would come and talk to you about a couple little things that I've been playing around with. First of all, I talked to a couple people who like to put beads on their journals. They like to have them dangling down. I'm not one that particularly cares for that, but you know, to each his own. So I was playing around with origami paper and the person who said they like to do this said they like the hole to be rather large because they use things like yarn and uh, sorry ribbon and fibers like that are, tend to be a little bulky. So the hole needs to be large enough they can get it in there. So I tried two different things. I tried uh, taking a six by six square and cutting one inch strips. Then I glued the one inch strips end to end and rolled it on here with the large roller that I have. But the only problem is, is watch this. Before you seal them, and even, see that? Crushed it. See that? That's it. So they're not very sturdy even after you put some kind of a sealer on them. They're not real sturdy because they have that big old hole. So then I thought, okay, well, let me let me try to reinforce it a little bit. And I tried the same thing, and it doesn't matter. It's still not the sturdiest of beads. So then I got to thinking about it. One way to make them sturdy would be to do this. So I took, this is a 6 by 6 square, <coughs> excuse me, 6 by 6 square of origami paper. So I took this with white glue and glued it onto this piece of scrap cardstock. Then I took that and I cut it into strips. Let me, where's the paper cutter? Hang on. I cut it into strips and made them, oops, upside down, made them one inch. Let's start from this one here. All right, so I have a one inch strip. And I'm gonna cut this off. Actually, it's easier to do it with the scissors than it is to do paper cutter. I'm just gonna cut this off where the origami paper meets the cardstock. And even if you roll it with a large roller, it'll be much sturdier than just rolling one inch strips, and there, there's three inches of paper in here. There's three one inch strips that are glued end to end and then rolled with this same roller. So I thought, well, that's good. What I will do is I will make it sturdy to a certain point and the rest of it will just be paper. So this is what I did. I glued kind of a small portion of it, maybe a little more than half onto the cardstock. Then I took it and I rolled it. And see now all this, it's it's a little hard because it's got good resist on it from it being the cardstock. And then I took the rest of it. I'm going to glue it together. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to glue it together. Now, origami paper has a lot of cotton rag in it and rice paper. And so it's not like gluing regular paper, it feels like material. At least the kind that I'm using here does. I don't know where I got this. I think I bought it at either on Amazon or at Michael's. So now, this is a lot hard. See, I'm trying to squeeze. It's a lot easier to squeeze this one than this one because it has the cardstock. Now, the downside to this is, the inside of this bead is still the colors of the paper. The inside of this one will be white because you've used cardstock. So you can dip this in some kind of paint. You can paint over it. You can leave it alone. It doesn't matter. But I'm just telling you the good and the bad. The bad to this one is too squishy, not enough support. Even after I've put sealant on them and I've done it with and without being sealed and they're still pretty flimsy. But this one has cardstock in it so it's a lot harder to mash. And once you put sealant on it, it'll be even more firm. But the downside is you're going to see the white some people don't like that. All right, so I tried. Now I have a bunch of these that I did with um, the cardstock. 
with different sizes of the rollers. And, you know, like I said, you'll see the white on those. All right, now I'm going to show you another idea. Well, I don't want to waste my origami paper. So this is the same thing that I did before. I want a large whole bead. This is just computer paper, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I cut into one inch strips. And I want this to look nice, but I don't want to use up my all my origami paper. All I had to do is cut a one inch strip and then cut a one inch chunk and then roll it on here. The only problem is sometimes it'll meet, sometimes it won't, and you might have that little white strip down the middle. But I'm gonna try this and see if I can get it as close as I can without making a big old mess. Which you know way you know is always my way to do stuff. The hardest way and the messiest way. And there goes the there goes the glue squeezing everywhere. Alright. So there's a nice bead that the only paper you use to make it look every bit as nice as this is one by one inch square of origami paper. This is done with a six inch by one inch strip of paper. And this is computer paper, this is cardstock. So this is a way, if you only have one small piece of origami paper, don't use your whole piece of origami paper. Take it, this was what I cut it off of. I just cut a one inch strip this way and then cut you know, little one inch chunks off of it from there. And then this is what I got out of it. Oh, well, I already rolled that up. I think that's it. All right, so I got this one, this one, and I, that's one, two, three, four, five, five, and then this one is number six. So in a six inch strip, that's one inch wide. I got all those beads out of one strip. If you have magazines that you can cut up and use in place of this, if you are the kind who wants to do recycling, that would be great. But just remember, when you turn it upright, whatever you started rolling with, this is white paper, you're going to see white in the end of it. So if you're the kind that white bothers you, either use bead caps or use colored cardstock. Like uh, red cardstock would have been great on this. And that way all you would see is red and then you would see the origami paper on the outside of it. So it wouldn't be as distracting. And if you're going to hang it on a journal, more than likely, it, you're really not going to see anything if you're hanging it somewhere because there'll be another bead or something else on top of it, so it won't be unsightly. Okay, I think that's it for me. I just thought I would pop on real quick and do this because I just, I had the idea and I thought it was great that this was a way for me to save my origami paper. I can get a ton more beads out of this, doing it this way, than if I took them all and rolled them up with the paper, because this right here, is a six by six sheet of origami paper and all I got was two beads out of it because each one had three strips that were one inch wide and six inches long and all I got was two big fat beads that don't look as nice as this. And all I used is a one by one inch square origami on the end of the paper like this. I'm always looking for ways to save on making beads. As much as I enjoy making them, I mean, I go through a lot of paper. And especially if you buy expensive paper or paper that you don't have a lot of, this is a really good way to save on your paper. And your bead looks, air, it, it looks so beautiful with all the different colors. But remember, you're going to have that white there. So just give it a little more thought, maybe some red cardstock, some kind of red paper, even magazines. I love um, travel maps, magazines, book pages rolled up into beads just the way they are, and then a sealer put on them. They look awesome that way. All right, that's all I got for now. See you guys later. Bye.